All right, today we've got the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. You might think it's no fun to read a book with no pictures, but let's see what Mr. Novak here does for us. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have somebody read you a book with no pictures. It'll probably seem boring and serious, except here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say it, no matter what. That's the deal, that's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blork, wait, what? What does that even mean? It, it doesn't mean anything. Blurf, wait a second. This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say everything that the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And I'm reading this to you with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true, I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. I am also a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? Wait. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? Oh gosh, I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the entire world. Oh really? And this kid is the smartest too, because this kid shows this book even though it has because this kid knows that this book, that this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes.